Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can control the brightness of an LED with the help of Arduino microcontroller. So for it, first of all, we need to take an LED. You can take uh, any LED. And after taking LED, you need to take the Arduino microcontroller. So here, our Arduino Uno. Okay. Now, rotate Arduino a little bit so that we can make a proper circuit. Okay, after Arduino, we need to take one potentiometer. Now, you must know that the PWM is the only technique through which we can control the brightness of an LED properly. So, on Arduino, we can see that there are some pins which are having some tilde signs with them. And these are pin number 11, 10, 6, 5 and 3. So, there are 6 PWM pins. In PWM, we can change the duty cycle or the on time of a pulse. Like, more is the on time for the pulse, more is the duty cycle, and more is the brightness. And if the pulse on time is less, we can see that the brightness must be low. So, after it, okay, now we Without any resistor, we just need to connect this LED with that of the ground, the cathode with the ground and anode with the pin number 9. Okay, uh, so our, this is our output side. Now, uh, for potentiometer, you must have to take the value of, of 7 kilo ohm rather than 250 kilo ohm. So here our terminal 2 must be connected with that of the 5 volt. The mid or wiper pin must be connected with that of A0 or any analog pin. And the terminal 1 must be connected with that of the ground. So when we will move our knob of the variable resistor or potentiometer, the resistance will change. And our ADC will get some numbers uh, which are just in accordance with that of the voltage. So, okay, now we will go towards our code. We will go and take our text. Okay, here we can see that we have to declare the pin number 9 as output. We are supposed to delete it out. We can take integer. The integer variable that is any like integer a is equal to analog read of a0 means that we are now reading the analog signal on pin number a0 and after the analog reading we are storing our whole signal values into the variable a we can like we can change the data type from integer to one sign integer or constant or int like that so then we will map this we will map this a variable so a oh sorry a comma 0 comma 1023 0 comma 255 okay so it will be equal to map of a 0 comma 1023 and 0 comma 255 okay then then after the mapping is done and what is mapping actually it is the quantization like on x-axis we just read uh, the signal for 1024 time within one second it is the sampling rate like 1024 is your sampling rate and 0 to 255 is the levels on the y-axis like if your signal is 5 volt then system will give it a value of 255 
and when it is like 3.3 volt or 2.5 volt or 2.5 volt then it is like 160 something and if it is like uh, 1 volt then maybe like 60 or 50 or uh, like this so okay after that uh, we need to use uh, we will call an internal PWM function and that is the analog right here we need to first we will write the value b comma uh, pin number 9 so b comma 9 so what is the value of p must be must be on uh, must be thrown on 9 like first we will take the b from this and then we will throw the value of b on pin number 9 so how okay so i think it is 9 comma b right so we will start our simulation okay is there any sort of problem like analog right 9 comma b so it is 9 comma input sorry output analog read was not declared in this scope so we have to like uh, yes now hopefully it will work our spelling for analog read is not right so here it's working now okay now we are going to move our potentiometer and now you can see that our LED is changing its brightness like here you can see okay now you can see that it is going to dim and this okay so in this way you can change the brightness of your led so hopefully now you can do it at your own so thanks for visiting our channel